Hi, I'm David Drozd with your weekly wrap-up for Friday, July the 29th. The grain and oilseed markets rallied this week, led by a drop in U.S. corn and soybean crop condition ratings that caused futures to gap higher at the start of trade Monday evening. This was followed by the National Weather Service forecasting hot and dry for the Midwest over the next two weeks. Canola followed the soy complex higher with additional support coming from gains in crude oil and a rebound in world vegetable oil markets. The wheat markets were dragged up on strength in corn and concerns about Ukraine's inability to export grain out of their ports due to the ongoing Russian attacks. A hotter, drier forecast for the northwestern U.S. plains was also supportive. Without rain, the crops in Montana may be the most vulnerable to heat stress. Taking a look here at the changes on the week, November canola was up $90.40 a ton at $892.80. November soybeans were up $1.53 at 1469. December corn was up 56 cents at 620. December Chicago wheat was up 48 cents at 826. December Kansas wheat was up 54 cents at 882 and December Minneapolis wheat was up 34 cents at 919. The Canadian dollar this week was up 60 basis points finishing the week at 7797 and crude oil gained $3.86 a barrel this week settling at 9856. For next week Look for the markets to build on this week's weather rally with traders keeping a close eye on each 6-10 to 10 day forecast. If the heat persists into the second week of August, there is the potential for crop stress and lower yields. Given this is a weather market, expect extreme volatility with each weather forecast. Although crop conditions have improved in some of the areas of the prairies, the canola market should follow the soy complex higher. We're looking for canola prices to get back to $20 per bushel at the local elevator and higher at the crushers. Look for wheat futures to continue to rebound, but the upside potential is somewhat limited due to the advancing harvest. For now, the upside is limited to $11 to $11.50 per bushel. Monday is a holiday up here in Canada, and as such, the canola market and our office will be closed. The U.S. markets will remain open. We hope you have a relaxing long weekend. Thank you for joining me here today.